It is 86 degrees outside today where I live. That's 30 degrees Celsius and it's November. I am unfortunately from Florida and this is unfortunate for a lot of reasons, but today we're just gonna talk about the weather. I desperately wish that it was just like a little bit cooler outside. I would love to have a nice, cool, fall day. And I realize that this is probably offensive to a lot of you in actually cold places because you're like gearing up for this long, horrible winter. But you guys, I am just daydreaming of snow. I would do anything for a nice cool day. And so I think today I want to try to build a little wintry house in The Sims. When I think of Brindleton Bay, I mostly think of the fall, but it looks beautiful in the winter time. And also I found this picture of this real life house and I was kind of inspired. So I think I might try to build something kind of like this. I like the stone and the wood paneling a lot and it's kind of cabin like without being like a dark brown wooden cabin. Oh also I have Nancy Landgrab here as a test sim. I made her stand outside in a blizzard for a while so I could get it to be snowy and now she's just still here. The only problem with building in the winter is that you can't see anything. <laughs> oh no. Also that happens. What are you- oh my god. Do we have to shovel that? I'm gonna- I'm gonna come back to that, okay? Maybe, oh wait, can I just delete them all? Oh, this works. Oh good, okay, false alarm. Anyway, the problem with building in the winter is that you can't see anything. And like when you landscape, it looks kind of bad. It's, it's just a weird time to try and build on The Sims. It is fun, don't get me wrong, but it just looks kind of strange. And everything's like so flat. You would picture the snow being like deeper, but it's just kind of like a, a white painting on top of things. So it all ends up looking just like a little bit odd. All right, that's kind of what I'm picturing for the layout out of the downstairs. I know this looks really weird, but just you wait. There's gonna be like a cute porch. We've got the chimney. I think that there should be a slight upstairs, but just maybe not a big one. Um, this is like kind of unrealistic and weird, right? Like this is bad. You don't want to have just like a, a corner for all the snow and water to fall into, do you? But maybe it doesn't matter. This is The Sims. We can do whatever we want. We don't have to worry about realism like that. And this is kind of what I'm thinking so far for the shape. It's a little bit strange. And for that reason, I kind of like it. I'm gonna use this stone from the Growing Together pack because I really like how that looks. And I haven't really thought about what the back is gonna, oh God, it looks bad. <laughs> I haven't really thought about what the back is gonna look like yet. Um, I don't know, it doesn't, <sighs> It doesn't need to be that cool. I don't know, maybe there could be like a slight wraparound porch back here, kind of like this again. Cause I was gonna have a porch in this front part that kind of goes like this. And then I guess we can just copy that into the back. So the shape ends up looking something like this. It's not too big on the inside and it's kind of a weird shape. So I don't know how the floor plan's gonna go, but it should be fine. I guess I'll try and use quite a bit of growing together because I can get these cool columns in here to have some more of the stone accents everywhere. Well, you know what? Actually, just in general, growing together is probably really good for this because it has like this craftsman vibe to it. And that's kind of what I'm going for with the house. Now I should clarify, when I say winter, I don't mean like a Christmas house. I, I'm literally just thinking a, a winter house. So I'm just gonna try to make it cozy on the inside. I'm not really planning on decorating it for any holidays or anything like that. I'm not really sure what I want to do for the paneling. <laughs> I'm kind of actually leaning towards horse ranch, but this might be a bad idea. Oh no, it can't be white. Well, oh actually, you know what? It could be white. Realistically, what's the issue with that? I mean, the whole house is white. <laughs> if we make it white, then everything is white, but it's kind of cool looking. I think it's bothering me a lot how short this wall is and how there's no space for a window there. It's gonna be fine. We're gonna be okay. I'm just gonna complain about it a bunch when I'm doing the floor plan and then I'll get over it. All right, well, this is what it's looking like so far. I'm actually gonna use the seasons windows everywhere because the seasons windows are so beautiful. These are like my favorite windows in the whole game. And I like how it has the black accent in the middle because otherwise I think this is gonna be kind of bland looking. Um, annoyingly, I wanna have the front door here, but uh, now it's not centered. <laughs> it does not center with the stairs. Do I care about that? Mm. Yeah, I do. I really do. Okay, I can use this door back here. I'll use that growing together smaller door for the front door because then it's small and it actually lines up and then I can put a window next to it or something. Some of these things I might end up changing once I do the floor plan because I don't really know like where I want the windows to be here and I don't think it matters that much. And speaking of floor plans, let's think about this for a second. So annoyingly, the chimney is right next to the front door, which means if I wanted to have a fireplace, it has to be like right there next to the front door and that's kind of tight. 
night. It makes the entrance like not really so ideal. It might be okay to have a fireplace there because I could put a fireplace in a few places if we wanted to. We could have one here and like one in the living room. Oh, we should use this nice flooring. Of course it doesn't match because like why would it? That would just make things too easy. But that's quite cozy looking, I think. Yikes. Um, I don't know how to do this floor plan. <laughs> the staircase being there is not so good. Um, initial thought right now is like maybe we could open this up. I'm gonna have to change the roofing a little bit if I'm gonna do that. It's kind of annoying trying to get rid of roofing clipping, but you can do it. it just takes a few steps. That also makes like this part look really weird, doesn't it? <laughs> That's quite strange where the windows are laying. Um, probably not. Probably shouldn't do that, actually. Maybe the staircase wraps around a little bit somehow. Oh, please, go away, walls. This is even tighter inside this room, and it makes it quite strange. But maybe, maybe it's okay, because I could do, like, an archway on both sides of this. That kind of leaves these two things as kind of weird spaces. Oh, wait a minute. That is a really extremely tight hallway. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe like to a fault actually, but this might be good to make into two bedrooms. Okay, hold on. Those both become bedrooms and then this weird part becomes a bathroom. I was sort of picturing that this part would be a bathroom too, but that's kind of tight. Maybe it could just be open. What if it's just open? Like a big stair landing. Oh no. <laughs> Um, hold on, wait, wait, wait. Oh my god, why does this have to be so difficult? I don't think that I can, um, I don't think it works. <laughs> Even if I wanted to, I don't think it does. Can I close that off? Oh, wait a minute, wait, 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 might be fine, it might be fine, it might be fine. What's that? Go away. Okay, and then you can go away. What if it's diagonal? Does that, oh, nope, never mind. <laughs> Sorry, that doesn't work, sorry. This is really unnecessarily complicated for no reason. I don't know why I'm making this so difficult for myself. Oh, that's the wrong way. We try it like that, and then I can delete this underside. Now we have a cute stair landing situation. Space for two bedrooms up here, which are really weird, so I'm gonna try and scoot those over a little bit. <laughs> if I wanted to, I could put another fireplace up here. I don't know if that's too tight, but it might be nice. And then I'm gonna stick a bathroom door on this side. I hate that, I hate how it's like tucked in the corner. This is a really weird shaped room, but it'll work. I can probably get us a tiny little window in there too if we want. Oh, that's good. Now there's at least some natural light in this room. I will figure out some sort of layout for this bathroom. It's gonna be weird. <laughs> it's very long and skinny, but at least we've got two bedrooms up here. And then to fix this part of the roof clipping, not all of the roof trims clip. So if you're having this problem with your like roof trims being kind of weird, all you gotta do is just change the roof trim. If you wanna do an open landing, you can't really use this square roof trim. I usually use this beveled out roof trim because that helps get rid of the clipping that's happening. I like the other one better. Like I prefer how this looks from the outside because it's bigger, but this will do. And it also won't clip, which is ideal. I guess if we wanted, I could use this trim everywhere except the front porch. <laughs> I can't put it here because that's where it clips and you can see it inside, but I don't really need it to be on that part. It can be smaller on that part. Oh, okay. I think that's nice. I also think that these rooms are nice. I feel like that worked out really well. So downstairs again, I'm wondering if maybe this could become the dining room. So you walk straight ahead into the dining room and we could get a nice big kitchen in this open area. This might be a good opportunity for us to use like a peninsula situation so we can have a bit of an island. It is so dark in here and this doesn't really fit that well. Can I clip that together or is that weird? Where did the lights go? Oh, I drew over them. That would explain that problem. Oh my God. <laughs> I keep messing up. Okay. Yeah, the kitchen could go kind of like this and then we can have a big dining table in here and we have that same matching archway to get into the other room. First thought is that maybe this could become another bedroom. That might work out better for us because there's only two bedrooms upstairs. It'd be nice to have another bedroom and another bathroom down here. That is quite small. <laughs> okay, so then this becomes the extra bathroom. We've got one extra bedroom, so it's a three bed, two bathroom house. It's kind of a closed off floor plan, which I don't necessarily think is a bad thing and I've got fireplaces in a lot of the rooms. I'll put one in the dining room and then also one in the living room. Should I put the fireplace in this nook? I don't really like how it looks as much. I think it's kind of weird when it's tucked away, but we need the space. There's not enough space to walk, so we kind of have to do that. Oh no, oh no. Okay, here's how you fix that, by the way. If you're having a roof clipping problem, you just have to have the roof follow around the walls exactly. So you see this? I've got like a one tile wide one and I'm just filling in that little corner. I'm gonna copy that and fill in this little corner.
corner. So I took what was one roof piece and made it into three, but now it's not clipping in that area anymore. You just have to kind of wrap it around the wall when that happens. And the reason it happened there is because I had this part open. I decided I wanted to have this part be open to the downstairs and therefore I opened myself up to a lot of clipping problems. I don't really know why the game is so strange about stuff like that, but it really is. So you kind of have to be careful. And before I start furnishing the interior, I'm thinking I might mess with the outside a little bit. The problem is everything looks dead when you put it outside. So we have to be kind of picky about landscaping. I'd like to use some trees that are kind of evergreen just because I like how it looks a bit better. So I might put a couple of these around the place. Oh, and I forgot about windows on the side of the house. Hold on. I probably should have a window there. Is it okay if I just have one? <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. This hedgerow miraculously is not completely dead either. It's not a bad thing to have landscaping that's dead. Obviously that's very normal. It's just hard because it in The Sims looks so empty. <laughs> So I struggle with trying to make it look like a finished house in the winter time. You can't even see the walkway. If I had a pathway right here, you can't tell. Sometimes when I do this, I try to line that little pathway with something like this. This is like a weird roof support beam from Cottage Living, but I'll basically put a few of those in so it lines the walkway and then you can tell there is a walkway. We can stick the mailbox in that. And speaking of roof support beams, I might actually add a bunch of little roof pieces. The picture I was looking at had like so many of these little things. So I think what I might try to do is put them around just to get some more dimension on the front of the building. Do these die in the winter? No. <laughs> okay. Never mind. I won't use those then. I'm just going around and putting these everywhere now. I hope that they don't delete themselves because if that happens, I might honestly start crying. <laughs> I hate when you place items and you kind of like meticulously go through and add stuff to your Sims build and then the game just kind of glitches and it all deletes. Now, why are you doing that? It's trying to place like on the wrong wall too. At least we can use trees to kind of cover up and hide some of the weird parts. <laughs> we can just put trees there so you don't have to look at it. I think I should probably get a fence too. Yeah, because what this house needs is more all white stuff. White fence, white trees, white roof, white house, <laughs> white trim. Everything's all the same. I like how this birch tree looks. So I'm kind of putting a handful of them around the place. What happens if I put these? Oh, that's not dead either. That doesn't seem right to me. <laughs> I feel like that should be. Maybe we can do some relatively simple. The thing is that just looks so bland. I need it to be bigger. A lot of the other stuff like these, even in the winter time, they still have some bush to it. So if you put that on like either side of the front door, it still looks like you've got something going on. I don't even wanna know what it's gonna look like when the snow melts. I, I'm not interested in seeing this house when the snow is melted. <laughs> I'm gonna avoid that. My goal today is just to make it look good in the winter time, okay? Oh, it looks nice in the evening too. Okay, at night, I wanna put some outdoor lighting. I'm thinking I'll get these black lights because that sort of matches the interior of the windows. I'm trying to be a little bit careful about how much we put out here as well, because obviously in the winter time, people would probably put their furniture away and stuff like that. So I'm kind of trying to keep that in mind. I'm also putting what I'm pretending is going to be a little patio. You can't see it, but you're gonna have to take my word for it, okay? There is a patio back there. Oh, you can kind of see the stone texture. Oh, good, okay, that helps. And I can put these plants further over, I guess, because I don't really need them here anymore if I've got a back patio set up. Oh, also I want to get a little chimney. I'm going to put a proper chimney inside of this chimney so that it is going to look like smoke's coming out of it. And then look at this. If I have Nancy come light the fireplace, there's going to be actual smoke that starts coming out of this. See that? Isn't that kind of cool? It doesn't have to be actually attached to anything. As long as you have a fireplace that is lit on your lot and you have one of those chimneys on your lot, there will be smoke, but I may as well have her come light all of them if we're gonna have her in here helping us play test. <laughs> it's just gonna look better this way. Thanks, Nancy, now leave. I'll put a trash can somewhere that's a little bit out of the way, but still accessible. And then I was kind of wondering if there's any other decor items that we can maybe add in that might be nice. I don't know if this thing is bad or not. It kind of is strangely placed right there. I don't think that really adds much to it. So maybe I'll leave that off. Okay, I think the exterior might be done. <laughs> I don't know how much else we can add to the exterior. So I'm gonna move on to the interior now. I kind of love that stone. I don't know if it's a good idea to use stone in the bathrooms, but I almost want to. And because this bathroom upstairs is so big, I think I might put laundry up here to go along with it. We can maybe have like laundry in the first half and then perhaps there could be a second door that goes into the bathroom just to kind of help split it up a little bit more. Oh, the window's not gonna work. That's fine. I don't need to have a window. I, I've moved past the, the need for a window, I think. I'll get some relatively nice bathroom stuff. This house is not on a budget, so we can use whatever we want. I kind of like that light blue. It feels 
feels kind of wintry almost. And I'm really sorry about this, but I'm gonna use the bathroom clutter kit. I, I do try to not use too many packs sometimes, but in this case, I really wanna have a black toilet paper roll. I know that's so dumb, but I just, everything else is black in here. So I want it to match. We can put some brooms or something, like some sort of storage in this laundry room as well. And maybe a tiny, 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 tiny bathroom cabinet scooted as far into the wall as it'll let me. And I think that might be the bathroom done. Oh, except for the, <laughs> except for the wallpaper. We do need wallpaper also. Do you think the stone is bad? Should it be something more plain, like tile? I'm not really sure. Maybe that's better. Okay, well, there's the first bathroom. This downstairs bathroom is a little bit smaller, so I'm kind of worried about fitting everything. This should be fine. I think they can get around this. I might have Nancy come test it real quick just to be sure. Oh, okay, she's good. She can get in the tub. I'll just leave her there then. I'm trying to get the most boring stuff out of the way first, at least boring in my mind. So like the bathrooms and now the entryway. Well, for sure, we're gonna need a thermostat. So I'm gonna put that on this wall where it's easily accessible and very noticeable. I'll put a little coat rack next to the front door and then we can decorate this like a little entry table with you know keys and other important things like that i really love this little candle item that's also from the bathroom clutter kit but it's like my favorite item in the whole game right now that and this little phone the little phone and keys has just taken over everything i've been using it all over the place i'm thinking we should go for relatively simple wallpaper in most of these areas i just did like plain white with the paneling in here and there is some stuff from the holiday pack that's not necessarily holiday and is kind of just wintry like this mason jar decor it's not really screaming like winter holiday, but it is screaming winter because it's just some trees. And last, maybe I can get just like a little clock right here. And that might be this entryway room finished. I wanted to have the kitchen in here, but now that I'm coming back and looking at it, it's all kind of in an annoying place. I don't really know where to put the fridge because like this one's going to block the window and that's not what we want. Those windows are also not really ideal locations for upstairs either. But maybe I could just do a slightly smaller one and then I can have the sink down here. I can put the sink in front of that window and then maybe we could even have a dishwasher which I don't usually put in my builds but might be good for this. I know I use this wallpaper all the time but it kind of matches the color scheme okay so I think I might use that in here too and I actually really liked this curtain. This is from Cats and Dogs and I really like the little checkers on it. I know it's blue and like everything I ever build is blue but I do think that it looks kind of good in here maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's the tile that's bad. I don't really know what to replace it with though. Could we do a darker tile? That might be kind of cool. It's not my fault that everything is blue. The Sims just, everything in the Sims is blue. <laughs> they keep making blue things. I don't know. Mm. I don't like any of these. <laughs> I don't like any of the chairs. I don't know which ones to use. I'm actually thinking that this one might be okay. We can get a darker table, which might tie it together more. Oh, and I meant to change all the light colors to be a bit warmer tone, like more yellow, because I think that helps with making it seem cozier inside. And on this fireplace, I was kind of hoping to do like some sort of built-in situation. I like the idea of the built-in bookcases around it, and we can put like maybe a little painting in there in between them somehow. Oh, and then maybe in hindsight, we're trying to get more white accents. Maybe I could do white chairs. We could do white chairs with the wood table. Maybe this frame could be white too. I don't know. It looks better when it's all wood. At least there it does. Oh my gosh. This set of candles is like so perfect for this dining table because it has the little leaf on it and stuff. In the kitchen, I put a trash can, a microwave, and also this cute little shelf from Tiny Living. And then I'll get a couple other little pieces of clutter in here. I think it's also a good time to use one of those things from the holiday pack because we've got like a cute snowman for the wall. I never ever ever use this parenthood thing anymore but I think in this kitchen is probably an ideal location for it. And then maybe I'll just get a lamp in the corner and then maybe something else. I kind of love this to be honest so I might use this again up here and then maybe that's the full room done. I'm gonna do that same thing with the books. I know I just did it but I just think it looks so cool and I'm gonna put a TV above it. This works with pretty much any of the TVs but it fits the regular base game one quite well. It's also a good spot for one of the frame TVs if you have that modern Lux kit but I'm gonna try and limit the packs I'm using because I've used so many already. I don't think I need to add in the modern Lux kit too. I don't know if I've ever used this swatch of rug. I don't even really know if I like it, but I might use it anyway. Oh, and maybe I can get a piano too because this could be a good spot to put a piano in this corner. Yeah, this is like a little bit tight. Um, I don't know if it really fits. I kind of wanted to use a leather sofa, but they all look a bit weird in here. Close your eyes, okay? <laughs> don't look at this. I am, I am gonna put a blue sofa. I know, everything's always blue in my builds, I'm sorry. Isn't that good though, with that color sofa? It's really not even like that blue either, okay? So it's fine. <laughs> 
totally fine. Do you think I can put that grandfather clock in here or is that like entirely too much? It might be a little bit too much, but like maybe in a good way. I'll get some nice light wallpaper. I'm probably gonna want a lamp or something over here. Oh, I could probably get one of those blanket baskets too. No. <laughs> I don't remember what it's called. I never remember what it's called. There's two, there's one from Eco Lifestyle and one from Cottage Living. And I can never remember. Laundry go around wicker hamper. Okay, sure, that's fine. <laughs> that is fine, I'll put that right here. I'll put that little snowman again and maybe like the trees, cause that's subtle. Oh, and this seems to me like the perfect spot to get some family photos. I wanna use this house for my legacy challenge. I'm feeling really inspired by this house. <laughs> it's a shame it's gonna look ugly in the summertime, but that's fine, don't worry about it. Okay, I really. I realized that I literally just said I was gonna try and use less packs in here, but I'm gonna use the Desert Lux kit curtains because that really helps finish the room. And now we're gonna do this downstairs bedroom. So I'm thinking in this downstairs room that this might become one of the kids' rooms. I'll make this into a primary bedroom and maybe this into like a younger kids' room. So this could be, is that a, oh, <laughs> speaking of kids, <laughs> there's one doing a snow angel right now. Anyway, this is gonna be maybe like a teen's room or something. I never, ever, ever use this wallpaper. I almost most think it's a little bit ugly. And for that reason, I kind of want to try to use it. There's a lot of like simple beds that we can try to fit in here. Using a base game bed is so cringe for this, isn't it? I shouldn't do that. I need to pick a more interesting one. That one's kind of cool. I think I'm going to try to use a lot of high school year stuff in this room. It's kind of like black and white and gray. And maybe we could pick an accent color, like a, mm -mm, not that. Maybe this minty color could be a fun accent though. Is it really bad to have like all this furniture lined up or does it look cool and maybe intentional if it's like one big thing there? I don't know. I also think the chair looks bad. <laughs> maybe I'll swap it out. A Little bit of mess on the floor goes a long way. Plus it adds some more color. I think I'm gonna give this sim a gaming computer. I kind of love the idea of that. And then perhaps like a little fuzzy rug underneath their bed. It might be nice to have a bookshelf too somewhere like this one up against this wall. Okay, I think that this could be the teen's bedroom finished, although I should probably also put a hamper. If we want it to be functional, it might be nice to have a hamper in here. I'm thinking this room's gonna be the little nursery or like maybe a room for a toddler. Oh, it could be space themed. That's so cute. Oh, I wish I could be a toddler in a little space themed bedroom. I feel like this kid is living my dream. They don't have a toddler potty anywhere because I didn't really think about it until now. So they unfortunately are gonna have to use one inside of their bedroom. Room, but that's okay. I find that more useful for gameplay anyway. Oh, I just noticed the piano was clipping in the wall. That's my bad. I didn't realize that. I'm gonna scoot it just a little bit further back. And then up here, I kind of threw together the hallway quickly. I did put an easel up here so that they can use it for like painting or at least to make this room kind of more functional. I have no idea what color to paint the roof. And I'm worried that I'm not painting at all when I do this because I can't see where I paint it because it doesn't look like anything. So I'm just clicking a lot right now and hoping that it's making sure I've painted everything and that nothing is left behind. And then the last room we have to do is just this primary bedroom upstairs. I'm gonna use some of that same stuff from the living room because I thought that, that color scheme looked really nice. So I might use these curtains again up here. Uh-oh, I placed too many of them. Oh, maybe I'll paint the walls gray. I don't know if I've ever used gray. <laughs> I know a lot of this house is gray, but it's, it's rare that I make much of my houses gray in The Sims. I like beige in The Sims, which is strange considering how anti-beige I am in real life. I might also use this fuzzy rug because that's so cozy seeming to me. Oh, and all of a sudden these curtains don't match. <laughs> so never mind. I'll make them white instead. I think in here is also a good location for some more family photos. Like if you were gonna actually play in this house, that would be so cute. And I kind of have a desire to put another fireplace, but it doesn't really fit. So maybe I shouldn't do that. I have to really hold myself back from putting a fireplace in like every single room. Maybe there could be an ottoman or something underneath this window. This ottoman is cute because it's wooden and it has books in it. I like this picture because it's got a black cat and I have black cats now. And then maybe we could get a little mirror on this wall. And that that might be the rest of the interior of the house all complete. Oh, hold on. I need another hamper. <laughs> I need to make sure I put a hamper in like all the bedrooms. Otherwise we're gonna be in trouble. All right, I did end up deciding to add a couple extra things outside. I ended up putting some stuff back here. I don't know if it's weird or not, but I wanted to have something on the back patio. So I put a table and a grill. We also have some swings out here. I put a chess table on the patio and like a little pot. And then in the front, I put a little rocking chair, but I don't think that we have much other space for like outdoor furniture and also, we don't really have much need for it because it's so cold. But that, I think, is the finished 
product of the whole exterior of the house. I'll give you a quick tour just to remind you. So we walk into the entryway right here. We've got like a fireplace and a table. To the left is the living room and the piano. It's got like a nice TV set up over here. We do have a bathroom that Nancy is in right now <laughs> and one teen's bedroom downstairs. And then on the other side, we have the kitchen and the dining room combo. Upstairs, we've got a little hallway, another bathroom and laundry room. And then we have the primary bedroom and like a little nursery toddler space. I might actually get a couple extra toys in here. I'll put a couple little things on the rug so the kid has some more toys to play with. Oh, I should put a backpack downstairs. Uh-oh. <laughs> At this rate, I'm never gonna finish. We're gonna be here all day. Here, here, look. Last thing, just this little basket, all right? And then I swear, I'm done. <laughs> that is the fully finished product. I am gonna stick this on the gallery. I'm gonna call it the snowy family home. I don't know. I'm not really sure what to name this sort of thing. And I'll stick it on the gallery. Now, I warn you that in the summertime, this is gonna look ugly. What? There was an error. <gasps> Uh-oh. Please don't glitch. Please don't glitch. Please don't glitch. Oh no. What's wrong with it? Why? <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Okay. Um, I don't know where that leaves me to be honest. Can I say it's my library at all? If this doesn't work, we might have to, okay. We're gonna have to try again later. <laughs> Hopefully when this video goes up, that'll be on the gallery. But what I want to check first is how it looks in the summertime. I am so curious to see. I'm gonna make a little heat wave maybe so we can try and melt the snow. It's not gonna look good. It wasn't built for the summertime, but it, oh, you know what? It's not that bad. Oh no. <laughs> it's rain paint. Okay, maybe it's a good thing I noticed because there's still some terrain paint here from before. Oh, that's actually fine. Oh, I thought it was gonna be way worse in the summertime. This is kind of cute. Okay, well, I feel good about this. <laughs> Hopefully you enjoyed this video. I do a lot of Sims builds here on my YouTube channel and I'm probably gonna be doing quite a few wintery things over the next couple months, but I might still do some fall stuff because it's it's a weird time, okay? It's November, I don't know. For me, I decorated for Christmas yesterday in real life. So uh, I am fully in my winter era, but <laughs> it is still technically fall, even if I don't want it to be in my heart. But anyway, thank you for watching and I'm gonna catch you all tomorrow. Okay, bye everybody. Back where that kid was making a snow angel, the snow is all gone, but the snow angel is still just there in the middle of the grass.